The first time you use the app, you will create an account. Click sign up, input your email, password, and name. This login information will also be used to manage your account on kinetic.fit. If you had been using the InRide app, you will be asked if you wish to migrate your profile data. This will move your history into the Fit app. If there are any firmware updates available for your trainer, they will be displayed as a pop-up when your app opens. Tap the pop-up to update the firmware. Do not let the app go to sleep or close the app. Make sure the screen stays active. Once you've got the app open, you will want to set up your profile. Tap the menu button and profile. So you will adjust your birth date. Weight, you can either use the plus or minus or to go faster, slide the arrow one way or the other. FTP is set at a default of 200. Now all workouts are based on FTP or functional threshold power. If you know what your FTP is, you can adjust it in the app. There are also a few different FTP tests to establish what that is. Once that's set, hit calculate zones and it will adjust all of your power zones. You can also input your resting heart rate and your max heart rate. A good guide, guide for max heart rate is 220 minus your age and populate your zones by hitting calculate zones. Next, you can configure the connections for export of workouts. Select connections and select the accounts you want to connect to. To select an account, tap the name of the account and input your login. To start a workout, select Workout from the main screen. Workouts are categorized by the primary power zone. There's also the option for free ride, which will record what you do. We have the workouts that correspond with the Sufferfest videos, with some of the Spinnervals videos. Custom workouts will show workouts that are created with a workout creator on kinetic.fit. Select the power zone you wish to work out in, pick the workout, and begin. There are several video options. To pick a video, if a video is stored on the device, it will show here. If you've connected to your Dropbox account, videos will show there for streaming. Kinetic Smart subscribers will have access to YouTube playlists as well as YouTube playlists that they've created. Sufferfest streaming customers will have access to all the Sufferfest streaming videos. Spinnerville streaming customers will have access to the Spinnerville videos. Select the video you want to watch and play. Start a warm up. There's a 10 minute warm up. We'll skip that, which takes you into calibration. Accelerate to hit the calibration target. Then stop pedaling and coast. You can now start your workout. You can customize the live workout experience from the settings menu. 
select settings. During the workout, there will be pop-ups throughout giving you motivation, guidance, telling you what's coming next. If you don't want to see those, you can select hide pop-ups. Auto lap will put a lap marker in every time you enter a new zone. Event cues, if you toggle that off, then you won't get notified when you go into a new power zone or for a lap. Those pop-ups also have voiceover options so that they're actually read to you by Siri. If you don't want that, you can turn that off. Zone cues will give you notification when you enter a new zone. Difficulty adjustment allows you during the workout to adjust the workout to be more or less difficult if you're feeling strong or not feeling strong. And light theme will change the look of the app if you're in a low light situation. The data fields you will see in the workout are all configurable. To adjust the data fields, select displays. The stock screens are also adjustable. You can have up to nine metrics shown on any screen. To adjust the metrics in an existing screen, tap the cell and pick the metric you want displayed in that cell. If you want to add a completely new screen, tap add and swipe until you get to the brand new screen. You can again tap a screen to add whatever you want. To save the configuration you've made, select yes. Your history is displayed on the main app screen. Workout history can be viewed by selecting the workout you want to view. You can view your time and zones for power or for heart rate, mean max for the workout. You can also export workouts to all of the options you have configured under connections. To view workouts and videos in a second screen with an Apple TV, first set up your Apple TV. To pair with it from your device, from the bottom menu select AirPlay Mirroring and then select the Apple TV you want to pair with. Now you can select your workout. Select a video. And start your warm up. We'll skip through the warm up and the calibration. Now video will be displayed on the second screen and workout metrics will be displayed on the device.